Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In our latest version, we added some reference geometries. In particular, I mean line and point. You can find construction of these primitives under the primitives menu from the toolbar. You can select reference line and reference points, or you can go to construct primitives and reference lines and reference points. So what it's about, I created a couple of um, primitives here, but for some reasons, in some cases, it's good to be able to construct a line which can be used as a reference for a pattern, for um, alignment, uh, for construction, etc. So what I need to do is just uh, restart with the line. When you select the line, you have a couple of options how to construct this line. One is to type in which means you just enter the coordinates of the start and end point, or you can construct from other primitives, or you can make average from different primitives. Also on the screen, as you see, it is created, but you can see the two handles, so you can extend and create this line longer. Because now by default, it's just uh, the type in, the line is just placed arbitrarily in space. So if we are in constructed mode, the software offers you to select the two primitives that will construct this line. Also, you see the cursor is defined as number one, so it waits for you to pick the first entity. You can pick uh, all the entities we know, such as spheres, cones, planes. And in this particular case, if I just pick the, this plane and the bottom plane, it will actually create a intersection between these two planes and this is where the line will be defined also you can uh, create a different combination like you can take um, this plane and then for the second i can take this cylinder what happened in this case it takes the cylinder axis and projects onto the plane another option is which you can experiment if you have two cylinders or two lines, it can get a this um, transversal between the two lines, and this also can be defined as a line. When you're ready, you can just press OK. Please note that now this reference size is dependent on this primitive, so if I just take this plane and slide it in space, as you see, it's again, it's projected onto this um, plane. You can always right click and edit this reference line. In some cases, when you have more primitives that are a fit, for example, I have here two cylinders, we may need to find the middle average line of all these fit primitives so you can get a better accuracy. In this particular case, what you need to do is go for the reference line, and then you can choose the, the third option. This will allow you to pick um, many primitives at least one. For example, if I just select only one, it will take the axis of the cylinder. But if I take the other one, it actually averages, takes the two lines and creates an average line from all these uh, cylinders. And this is your line. When you're ready, you just press OK. Later, you can use these um, lines in a different cases for mathematics, alignment. For example, here, I can, again, I can create a line by taking this line and this line, and it will create my line in, in between. So this is the um, how you create the, the lines. I will just say this, and also you can create reference points. The reference points are useful. Uh, for example, here I want to see where exactly this line intersects with this plane. I can just select the constructed mode which means that it will take the two primitives and try to intersect them and reconstruct this point. For example, here I will take this line and I will take this plane. And as you see, it found the intersection between them. And this is how the, the point is created. Another option, for example, if I click on construct it, it just resets everything. I will just take this line and this line and it will try to create a point, in this case they are parallel and then there is no 
point that can be defined so uh, the actual point is not being created. Another option for in some cases you may find is that if you have uh, three planes, for example, I will just uh, select um, arbitrary some selection here and we'll create a plane on this selection which is not a good example but still you can use these three planes and it will find a point where they intersect for example i can choose three planes plane one plane two and plane three and as you see it found the intersection of all three planes and this is our point Later, you can use this as a reference as this point and reference line to reconstruct and create a coordinate system. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.